Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into my video. My name is Mir Ashtar and today we will look at some best practices in order to resubmit failed Iguana messages in bulk. So in this video, we will look at some common ways to resubmit messages in Iguana, as well as how can they potentially affect your Iguana instance before getting into a more flexible way of resubmitting your failed message in Iguana. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's first look at a, a common architecture that usually customers use on their on their Iguana in, instance. So this architecture is pretty simple. Uh, essentially, you have an external system that sends messages over TCP IP to your Iguana channel, which is set from LLP to LLP channel component with a filter in between. Once the message has been filtered, it will then send the message over LLP to your external uh, system. Now, the first way we can uh, reset, resubmit messages is going inside your Iguana instance and clicking on individual uh, Iguana messages or the messages that, that's received from the source system and resubmit it via the resubmit message option. So let's take a look at how does that, that work. One way you can resubmit those messages is going into your logs, then you're clicking on the message to tab on the right uh, as a message type, and then you would click on the specific message. For example, this is our sample message. We will click here. And then we will click here to resubmit or forward this message. And then we will resubmit in our confirmation window. Now this method is only uh, feasible if you have under 10 messages. Now the issue with that resubmit uh, option is if you if you look at our messages and you have uh, the Iguana instance continuously sending messages uh, over LLP and in between you have one message that has been uh, it's, uh, failed to send over but you still have other messages that are still being sent over your uh, over LLP. Uh, using the resubmit button over and over again can cause more strain on your onto your serial one instance. So if you have more than 20 or you, you have more than uh, around like 40 or 50 messages that you need to resubmit, what you're doing is you have your resubmit button and you're adding on to the load of your Iguana instance. So if you have 50 messages, you're re essentially adding 50 times the load on your Iguana instance, eventually slowing down your Iguana instance or having some sort of uh, consequence in the, in the performance area of your Iguana instance. Now, another way you can resubmit messages. So if you have a message that is being processed either from a translator or from a file, you can send bulk messages de depending on where you want to set up the marker. So for example, if you were to go in our logs here and I will choose the uh, channel resender and I will choose only the message type here. Now, if I had a bunch of these messages that were not able to successfully send to my destination, I could go down to a certain point of time and click on this processed uh, option right here. And I will, uh, let's start here. So this would uh, then place the marker on that message and then send uh, all the messages uh, from that point onwards to the destination system. Now, the only issue with this set of method is if you have messages uh, that were successful and then some that were not successful uh, throughout a certain period of time, uh, the destination will receive both the successful and the unsuccessful message again. Uh, essentially, you'll then be sending duplicate message to the destination system. Now, a third way we can actually re, uh, utilize to resubmit messages is using a third party software. So similar to our architecture in our first example, we have an external source system that sends uh, the message over TCP IP or LLP uh, to, our, to our Iguana channel, which is a from LLP filter to LLP component, and that sends it to our external de destination over TCP IP. Now, if you assume that we have messages coming in from our source system gradually, uh, and then once uh, some of the message do tends to fail, uh, other the source uh, destination system uh, is unavailable or for some reason it just and decides to fail. What we can do is we can download those messages and we can use a third party software. So in this, we will use an HO7 simulator uh, to retrieve those messages and then point the simulator to back to our from LP component via uh, and then send the messages over the port. Uh, to our from LP component. So let's take a look in our Iguana instance at how does that work. Now let's see how we can use a third party software in order to resubmit our messages. So we have a channel which is our from LP to LP. We will go to our logs and we will find a message that we will assume that has been 
unsuccessfully sent. So let's go down the scroll and then let's download this message. So this message, we will assume that it has not been sent successfully and we will use our third party software, our HS7 simulator to resubmit this message. We have first download this message to our downloads folder. We will go to our downloads folder and we will ensure that this message is downloaded. Once this message is downloaded, we'll uh, go to our HL7 simulator and we will go to our browse. Right in our browse, we will go to our downloads folder. So we'll go here. We will go to our downloads folder here and we will look at this message and we will open this message. Once we have set this message, we're gonna make sure that the port is uh, pointing to our LLP port. So this is 5345. We'll go here to our simulator and we will by insert five three four five. Now, what this will do? This will send the message over LLP to to our uh, LLP to LP channel. We we'll go ahead and uh, start our channel, and it has sent our message. Maybe it has sent uh, quite a couple of the messages or duplicate this message, but you can set your uh, HSL and simulator to send one message at a time. And as we'll see in the in our logs, our message has been. Sent. Now, a possible problem with this uh, approach would be essentially if you have a bunch of messages that you downloaded and you're using the third party to, uh, to resend it over to the source system, uh, what actually happens is uh, in, some, in, in some cases, your source system does not uh, uh, accept simultaneous uh, message transfer from two different source system. So you might be looking at either disconnecting one of, uh, disconnecting your initial original source system for your simulator to be able to resend those messages to your from LLP, process them in the filter, and then send it over to TCP IP to your external source system. So that's something you might need to keep in, uh, keep an open mind on how you're going to be dealing with those messages if you're using this approach. Now, so far we have discussed some of the different ways that you can resubmit messages. Now, here's one way that I found very helpful in submitting large amount of messages without uh, closing any external source system and as well as without any uh, any backlogs or having to uh, affect your performance of your Iguana instance. Essentially, over here, we have an external source system that sends to a channel. Now, our channel, as uh, as to our previous example, is not a from LP to LP. Essentially, it is a from LP to Q channel. So in this instance, we have a from LP to a filter, and then it will go to, to Q. And you have a second channel that retrieves the message from the Q and send it over to LP. Now, this gives us a lot of uh, wiggle room in terms of what kind of architecture we can actually implement. If you look at here, I have another, I have a third channel, which is my resubmitter channel. What it does is we will, and any messages has failed, we will download those messages over the browser, right? So it will take off all the load from our Iguana instance using the, instead of calling the API over and over again uh, to resubmit messages, we will just trigger the API once to put load on our browser to download those messages. Once those messages are downloaded, we can have our from file to Q uh, channel be directed to our directory where all those messages lie and have those messages picked up by the channel, uh, initiated into the queue and uh, be sent to the third, to a second channel, which is responsible for sending the messages to our destination. So let's take a look at how to, does this work into our uh, instance. So in our Iguana instance, we have three different channels. We have one channel that is uh, set to receive messages from over LLP, and it will then send it to the queue or to channel configuration. We have a second channel that will receive the message from the queue, and then it will send it over LLP to a destination system. And we will have a third channel that is responsible for resending the, uh, resubmitting the messages back into the queue for our log re resubmit destination to send it to our LLP destination. So for this process, what we will do, if you have failed the messages, we will click on logs. We will then go to the messages and we will then select messages that we need to resubmit. Once we have selected those messages, we will then download those messages over browser using the download this, uh, this message to a file uh, function. And this will then download all our messages to our downloads folder. Once then we will go to our downloads folder. We would copy our messages. And then we will uh, set them into the directory where our iguana will retrieve from. So 
once that is completed, we have a third channel, which is our uh, from file to queue, which will then send a message to our destination channel. And our file is uh, configured so that it will receive the messages uh, from this directory and it will delete once it processes those messages. So if you go to our dashboard, currently we have around nine messages received. Once we start this channel, we will see that our directory will clear up the messages after it's processed. And this number will go up to 14 as we see. Now this method can be used to resend multiple messages in bulk. If you have more than 40, 50 messages, this is a much more better way of resending those, resubmitting those messages rather than sending the a sending a message directly to over the LLP and then having one source system uh, disconnect for the uh, for the destination system to be able to receive those messages.